Hi, Dr. Thayer here. I'm with uh, Richard. Uh, he has been in pain for a number of years, and uh, he also has his vertigo that's been going on for 20 years also. Uh, he's been in pain for 30 years. He's tried chiropractic before in the past. He's done some acupuncture uh, with some help, I guess, some minimal help. Uh, he's never really had his neck worked on for to take care of this, but so he's here to give it a try. Uh, interesting about him, he has a travel site that he's uh, shooting a video for right now, concurrently with my video. Uh, Rich Travels, so check that out um, on YouTube. I went to a lot of chiropractors and they do back adjustments, but it comes back after a while. So I decided, I saw your videos and I decided, hey, you know what, let me look at my neck as an option because nothing else works. Um, <laughs> I tried acupuncture, gotcha. suction cups, um, you know, but. So the, uh, how many chiropractors you went to? I thought it was just the one. Uh, about three actually. About three? Okay, gotcha. So his symptoms are what now? Tell us your symptoms. Um, I have uh, lower... You, can't, you really go to all these chiropractors for low back pain is really right. why you always go, right? So low back pain, they always suggest your low back, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us what your low back pain is. My lower back pain is on the lower left and lower right. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually about a five. Sometimes it gets to a seven or eight out of ten. I have neck pain today, yes. Yeah, neck pain today? But today it's probably like a... No, but I'm talking about the last 30 years. Have you had pain for the last no, 30 years on and off? No. So it always has been your low back, right? Yeah. If I go up a ladder and it's stable, then I might lose my balance for no reason. Gotcha. If I'm lying on a flat position and I go up too fast, then I might get a little dizzy. Snores, toss and turns, always tired in the morning. Yeah. He also has x-rays from 2011, right? Mm -hmm. And so the interesting here is that it looks pretty straight here, tons of constipation. But the real interesting thing is he has this gigantic osteophyte, huge hook. And what is it, seven years later? It's eight years later. It's yeah. eight years later now. Uh, I'm gonna show you the x-rays on this and we'll pop them up right after this x-ray, after showing these. This will be, this is way bigger now, way worse. Stop! For this science moment! We're talking about arthritis today. Arthritis is the abnormal wearing of joints that cause distortion of the disc space and the bones that can't be changed. So let me show you what arthritis looks like. Here's a good spine and here's the worst. And you can see the different phases that people pass through. So we can tell how bad somebody is by following where they are on this continuum. The analogy I like to use is tires on a car. If your car is misaligned, what will happen to those tires? Well, they'll start balding on the inside or the outside. So what can you do on a car? You can replace the tires, but on the human body, you can't. And that's arthritis. Here's another example of arthritis and how it progresses. Good spine leads to a bad one, bad one, worse, worse, worse. And you end up over here if you do nothing about it. Seven years ago, tiny bit of wear. Now, big old huge hooks. That shows you how much he's progressed. At least 30 years of degeneration. I hope this educational moment was helpful. Constipation is still the same, so you can absolutely see the difference between now and then, okay? And then I'll show you the x-rays of the neck also. Arthritis in the neck. Um, imbalance, definitely you can see it. Um, I'll point all the arrows to it. We have an eight millimeter right imbalance and left TMJ pressure here. We have 13 degree lumbar curve, 11 millimeter short right leg. Here's where all the action is. Lower neck reversal, one half atlas wear, arthritis and enlarged EOP. Huge L4 osteophyte and massive constipation. And here's a close up of that massive osteophyte if you want to take a closer look. And don't touch your toes best you can. How much pain in your back there, sir? About a six or seven. Six or seven, okay, go ahead and stand up. Go back like this. I get four. Four, gotcha, and where is in the low right or left or in the middle? Middle towards the right. Gotcha, okay, stand up. Now look at the floor with your neck. How much pain is there? Uh, three or four. Gotcha, look at the ceiling. Uh, five or six. Gotcha, okay. So uh, this is the funny one. He doesn't think it's funny because he, this is what he always does, but I'm gonna have him spread his feet a little bit and then squat. So why is this so difficult to do? And go down more. What do you where do you feel the pain? What do you feel right now? I feel apprehension. Um, my thighs are really sore. Six or seven. Six or seven. And your knees? My knees are like a five. And how about your back? My back is holding. It's like a seven right now. Go and come up. It's about to give up. Yeah. And so the apprehension comes from what? I'm kind of curious. Um, if I stay in that position too long, I think my body feels like it's going to lock up or. Something yeah, interesting. And how long has that been going on? Have you noticed that for years or weeks or what? Um, probably four years. Yeah. Okay. So one last thing. I didn't. I didn't do this before we uh, started shooting. Go ahead and stand up on your toes for ten seconds. Okay. You guys see his feet here? His feet. He's uh, he's doing pretty good with his balance right now. Actually, better than I thought he would do. 
He can feel his balance right now. It's not perfect, but he's doing better than I thought. Okay, go and go down. Ready to get treated? Yes. Good. Go ahead and lay you back over here. Okay, so just relax here. Okay, just relax right here. Okay. Good, nice. That went okay. Now tell us your first impression on that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of people actually laugh at that one on there. They're gonna be like, yeah, I thought you were gonna die too. Okay. No, but what does it feel like? Uh, a, okay, so a rush of pain on the left side. Right side seems okay. Like I feel I can move the right Feels better. Feels better and you haven't yeah. even moved it yet. You can just feel it inside, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Wow. Woo. This side is tight. Oof. Now what about that one? Um, okay. Uh, How about so that was inside? pretty, it was definitely a jolt. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels balanced now. A little more balanced, right? Yeah. Good, perfect. Since this is the first time Richard has ever had his neck adjusted, I'm going to help him up here because uh, I'm sure he's going to have his world rocked a little bit. So let's listen in, see how he's doing. I think he's feeling a little different. It's like uh, blood rushing to my brain. I gotcha. Uh, kind of a little bit hazy or gotcha. foggy, okay. but kind of clearing up. Fair enough. Any lightheadedness at all? Since he's only had a neck adjustment, we have to send him to the hall to spread that adjustment to his low back. Let's check in now. I feel balanced. It's a lot clearer. What's a lot clearer? Uh, just, I don't know, the world. <laughs> the world, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nervous. That's fine. It's tight there, but no pain. It's yeah, just, you were uh, five, six, seven a minute ago. I forget yeah. what that was. What is that now? It's like a two. Okay, go ahead and tell the camera. So it's a two. It's tight, but there's no pain. Gotcha. Did I touch your back? No. Did I rub your back? No. Did I smack you in the ass? No. No. Can you put that on your channel? Is that gonna be go? It's gonna check my wife to first. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and put it back like this. I forget what that was. That was painful too, right? Yeah. Uh, what does that feel like? It feels like it's one or a two, maybe. Uh -huh. So yeah. we're about six percent, sixty percent difference, right? Okay. Yeah. And I haven't touched your back, right? No. no. Kind of interesting. Yes. Yeah. And so this has never been addressed with you before. It's never been even been looked at like this. And so you're feeling the difference, which is the most important thing. Yes. Go and look at the foot, please. Oh yeah. Uh, Stiff, but no pain. Okay. Yeah. Ceiling, no please. problem. Um, we can, I was a six um, or seven. Yeah, yeah. It's a I mean, two. Ideally, it's the but times a week, the range is a little bit better. Gotcha. Yeah, um, we'll we'll you don't want to kill yourself. Now, the, the most important one is the squat, because mm -hmm. this is important for me because it's the close kinetic chain that works together. I'm going to see how your body is yeah, affected. Yeah, no problem. Do you live I haven't touched you your knees. Too. I haven't rubbed your thighs. We haven't had genie work on you at all. Yeah. This has just been the adjustment. Unedited. Let's see how you do. When you feel a little bit. Spread you feel a little bit. Your first adjustment. Good. Uh, what do you mean good? Uh, the, there's the less, there's the less tightness on the thighs. There's how much? Uh, how much? Yeah, but you have to tell us. There was seven out of ten a minute ago. What is it now? It. It's like a three. Okay. Stand up. Knees were five or something. Yeah, they're good. They're and like the back two. was a seven. Oh, the back yeah. was a seven. Yeah, the back is still apprehensive, but yeah, it's but no it was pain. A seven. Yeah, no pain. So are you uh, exaggerating this for your channel so you look no. cool and it gets all your YouTube fans out there? No, I'm not. Because yeah. if I sucked, you'd be like, this guy's a sham. I'm yeah. I'm turning him out. Right? Yeah. You do that online too? What you do? Probably you not. I know you probably wouldn't either. I know you wouldn't. Okay, so let's do the stand on the toes, please. Five seconds. I know it didn't really look like on camera, guys, but he'll tell you how he feels different on this one. How does it feel different? I can, I can do this for like probably two minutes. Right, and a minute ago, so you feel like what? What is the difference between before and now? Um, It'd be more balanced. You feel more balanced, right? You feel like, and again, I haven't rubbed your feet, I haven't talked about balance, I haven't talked about posture, I haven't done anything except adjust the stinking neck. Why does it work? Because the neck is where balance comes from, the brain is there, the computer's there, and when you adjust it, it recalibrates everything, allows the body to work the way God intended. Just, um, so, can I put you on hold anything else? Yeah. Any other questions? Sure no. So, what do you think of this process first time, sir? I'm a big fan. You're a big fan now? Yeah. Oh, so I'm skeptical, but I'm skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, so uh, six visits in. What have you discovered this week? What have you learned, and how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling great. Um, 
I really had high expectations and I feel like the pain is gone. Um, I still feel a little tired, but that's just normal, I guess. And then uh, my night vision has actually improved, so I don't have to wear glasses, uh, which, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So yeah, not even, on my, not even on my notes that I took. He just came in the other day and he says, oh, I can see better at night. I'm like, okay, great. You know, again, as the body improves, a lot of times people have things they don't even realize they have symptoms of. And so he's like, can this chiropractic thing be connected to my vision? Absolutely. Um, not that I ever fix anything like that. I work on balance. Balance makes the body better. When the body's better, the body simply functions better. So his vision's improved. So you came in with low back pain, and that was the primary thing you came with. Yeah. Just tell me where that's at. What are we doing with that? You know, I forgot what the pain level was <laughs> in the beginning. I, I, He's I, laughing because we haven't talked about it at all, really. Yeah, since the first day. I think it was like a five before, but now it's like a, it's like a. Zero. I know, but we, but we haven't even talked about it yeah, all we week. Talked about it. I mean, it's been all sorts of other things we talk about. He's, you know, tons of everything else. I forgot. I look on here. I go, huh? Low back was the reason he came in. Yeah, it's more like a tugging, so it's not really pain. It's just like a tugging sensation. And that was like a seven or something at the beginning of the week. You were like when yeah. you moved it, it was painful, right? Yeah. So it's tugging. Sleep. You said the sleep was just, just kind of a whole hum. Not that big a deal, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't wake up crouched anymore on the side. So I feel like I wake up. You feel more sleep. elongated, but you don't feel as yeah. rested as you thought you would. Yeah. Now, uh, truth be told, he's had pro his family, his father's had some issues this week. So uh, maybe that's kept him up. He's working with his family, moving stuff. Vertigo every day, lightheadedness, dizziness. How's that been? So the weird thing is that after I have my first adjustment, everything was really clear. So it's like, um, it's almost like it's brighter. I don't know how to describe it, but um, I don't have any dizziness. Uh, where are we at with this kind of, this, this travel down here? Was yeah. it worth it to come? Yeah, definitely. I think you met my expectations. I think actually people should have a neck crack, like maybe midlife. Or have a neck crack midlife. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, yeah, we should just get everybody cracked in midlife. Yeah. <laughs> what year should it be? Let me ask you, what's your opinion of what year it should be? <laughs> Maybe 30. <laughs> uh, his son, site, uh, does a toy thing, so uh, YouTube site, so check that out too. Mm -hmm. And which other one? The travel what? Rich travel Rich one Travels. Again? Rich Travels, so yeah. check out that one too. And he's going to have this video on his channel too, but in 4K. And 360. And 360. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try to make me look terrible. No, he's going to make me look better. And so uh, check that out too. Let me know what you guys think about his video versus my video.